Hi, I'm Donna Copeland and I will be interviewing Skip Hollinsworth, the co-screenwriter with Richard Linklater of the film Bernie. It was Hollinsworth's article about the Nugent murder in Texas Monthly Magazine that prompted Linklater to call Hollinsworth and ask him to help write the screenplay. Hollinsworth is an executive editor at Texas Monthly and the reference to the article that he wrote about the murder is posted on the website if you care to read it. The interview took place at the cafe in Sundance Cinema so please excuse the music and other sounds you might hear in the back. Well, one of the parts that I love so much were the beginning interviews with the townspeople and I read your article um, in Texas Monthly and it seemed like many of those were direct quotes from the people. Now, were all of them, uh, were some that you heard when you interviewed and then included them, or did you even make up some of them? I would say 80% of it comes from them, or a variation of that. You would get the tone of what they were trying to say, and so you would maybe add a couple of lines here and there that fit with what they were already saying. Mm -hmm. And then some was made up, and some they made up. You would give them their script to During read, the and they would get so carried away talking about what, what they were going to say about Bernie or Mrs. Nugent that they would add a few extra lines, and of course those lines turned out far better than anything <laughs> we wrote. <laughs> well, they were so charming. And one thing I liked about it so much, I mean, I was hearing that there was some concern about there being the townspeople being made fun of, but the way you people did it, it was just, it was humorous. But nobody was laughing at anything. Yeah, I think that was the uh, that was one of the fine lines to walk down. Right. Was making these people de depicting them in their real fashion, making sure that it was accurate but not making them parodies. Right. Because small town East Texans are funny. The way they talk is funny. Their descriptions are funny. You want to let that humor come out. Mm -hmm. But of course that humor is coming out in the context of a gruesome murder. Mm -hmm. I loved it when I heard this one interview, um, oh, it was a, a press conference, and Richard Linklater said that when he was talking to Bernie about it, he says, it's going to be a, about the trial, but it's going to be kind of a comedy. Bernie says, oh, it's what would be funny. <laughs> and that was just so tender, you know. That was Bernie, Bernie was completely bewildered that someone wanted to make a movie about what had happened. And he was completely befuddled that the movie was going to be mostly a comedy. Uh -huh. Until... He let some of his dorm mates in his prison read the Texas Monthly story, and he heard them laughing out loud. And then he said, okay, well, maybe there's something here that I'm not quite seeing. Uh -huh. And generously, he's gone along with He's a very gentle soul. You cannot deny that. You also cannot deny that he committed about as gruesome a murder as you can do. And there's always going to be a mystery whether it was true temporary insanity, whether there was something else going on, uh, that's going to always be the debate. Mm -hmm. Danny Buck, the district attorney, is convinced Bernie shot Mrs. Nugent because Mrs. Nugent found out he was spending her money on the town and got mad about it and was going to report him to the police or mm -hmm. take away his name off her, her bank accounts. And so he shot her. I mean, a lot of people find that completely preposterous. And, of course, the movie takes the position that he went through a bout of sudden, spontaneous mm -hmm. insanity. That makes more sense to me uh, because of his personality, his relationship with everyone. Yeah, if you... Um, I mean, if he has a murderous inclination... I would have found out about it. I'm not trying to brag, but a journalist would have gotten a hold of a story of something he had done in his past, yeah. which would have indicated an antisocial, sociopathic, yeah. psychopathic yes. behavior. That's right. You know, I've written a lot about serial killers or gruesome murderers. He doesn't 
have any of the characteristics. Nothing. So what happened on that morning that made him shoot her four times mm -hmm. in the back? Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's going to be... It's so unusual and so extraordinarily unpredictable mm -hmm. that you have to wonder, yeah. is it temporary? Well, I think we all, come, we all have a moment in our lives. It's one of these defining moments where our lives go right or left. They go up or down. We do something really good, or we can do something really bad. And I love to write about people that come to that edge and make a decision. And I'm, frankly, really interested in people who come to that edge and make a decision to do a criminal act, to commit murder, mm -hmm. to steal from a bank, to, you know, go from a normal businessman to the leader of a massive drug operation. I like to understand this moment when people embrace a dark side of themselves that perhaps they didn't even know they had. And that's what Bernie did. Here was this moment where Bernie snaps.